All right, another day, another Pokemon video. We are going to be going to Loot 5 this time around. And my rival says, hold it, what are you guys doing up here anyway? Or what are you up to anyway? <clears throat> Nothing, we're just standing here. So what did we do to you that you're bothering us with questions? You didn't do anything, not to me at least, but I can never forgive Pokemon thieves like you. Just to let you know, you're about to feel my rage. Yeesh. Trainers sure are unruly these days. Is that it? You're mistaking your Pokemon's strength for your own? I couldn't care less about a runt like you, but I don't like being messed with. Ryan, cover me! What do you think this is, Gears of War? Mami losing in an instant? Who is this guy? Heh <laughs> I stole this Pokemon two years ago, and I've been training it ever since. It's tough. It's kind of sad that you've been training it for two years, considering it's going to be, like, level 30. If that. And it's also probably going to be, like, a Trubbish. There we go. Level 29 Trubbish. Two years of training. Well, this is going to be boring if I stay like that. Oh, crap, I totally didn't uh, even heal my Pokemon <laughs> after the gym battle. That sucks. But, you know what? I got some revives, so it's all good. And actually, you know what? Now that I think about it, maybe I could use Gyro Ball. Maybe that'll do some damage. Not really. So anyway, I'll go back to plan A, which was to revive somebody. I guess I'll just revive my Ampharos. Alright, so I think it should be good with half health. We'll see. Especially if it's just going to be using Stockpile. Won't be too big of a deal. Let's use Thunder Punch. And I'm not thinking another Thunder Punch is actually going to knock it out, but let's see. It'll be close. Yeah. That sucks. Okay, well, that was his only Pokemon, so now we can actually go uh, heal up, because I think there will probably be one more battle. You've got to be kidding, and I bullied it so much over the last two years to toughen it up, too. Oh, snap, it's back-to-back. -back. Looks like I'm up next, just to warn you, I show no mercy. And if my voice sounds kind of raspy, it's because I've been talking for a while now, so... That would probably explain it. I'll do my typical coughing spiel, except never mind, I won't actually have a chance to do it, because now it's asleep. Fortunately, I stocked up on all these different... Uh... Actually, no, I didn't. I thought I had some Awakenings, but I don't, which really sucks, but... Oh well, I can just chill here and uh, use some poison gases. Damn, so now I'm asleep and confused. Hopefully my uh, coughing wakes up and snaps out of his confusion all in one turn. That'd be pretty sick. There we go. Except I'm still confused. At least I got a poison gas off.
That sucks. That sucks again. There we go, finally. What's the big idea? This Pokemon I stole is useless. If we keep going like this, it'll end up like it did two years ago. We give up. I can't believe we lost to two kids. Just because you're strong, I'll tell you this. We, Team Plasma, are searching for something. When we find it, that's when our secret weapon will be able to use its true power. Farewell. Thanks for uh, giving us your secret in typical bad guy fashion. Five years ago, Team Plasma stole my little sister's purloin. It had been given to her as a present. I was only a little kid. I couldn't do anything. So, so that's why I have to get stronger. Good work. I knew it had good instincts. Well then. Oh, thank you. Listen up. You fill up that Pokédex. Keep getting stronger and stronger and back me up. I'll be counting on you from here on out too. Alright, so there we finally get to uh, realize why he has such a stick up his butt for uh, Team Plasma. And now we get to go to Route 5 and have our, I think it's our first triple battle. Doink. You have four gym badges. You might be able to defeat Charles. Please beat him for me. I I'm a heartbreaker. My name's Charles. I wanted to get the attention of a girl I like, so I mastered a new style of Pokemon battling called Triple Battle. Want to learn about it? Sure. In Triple Battles, you send out three Pokemon at a time in battle. The rules are simple. Just make all of your opponents will not faint. And that's a rough explanation of triple battles. I'm a heartbreaker. My name, Charles. Hey, if you're a trainer, how about a triple battle? You've got a good attitude, don't you? I'm a heartbreaker. My name, Charles. I'm always in full throttle. Man, this guy's a badass. And a heartbreaker. I think it should say heartbreaker Charles, but oh well. He's just got a bunch of crazy, uh, old-looking Pokemon here. And this looks, uh, maybe not good, but maybe good. I don't know. Uh, let's see here. I think Poison Gas can, yeah, he can do two Pokemon at once. And then I can Thunder Punch Arkin with my Ampharos. And I think I might switch out... Yeah, I'll switch out my Growlithe for a Snivy, just so Growlithe doesn't get destroyed by a Tortoga. Never mind. Wow, that sucked. So much for poison gas. But hopefully this will knock it out. Sweet. And now I can send out Growlithe in the place of coughing. And that way it won't be able to get hit by anything from Tortuga. And then I can Thunder Punch Sigilith, and I can use Mega Drain on Tortuga. That's really awesome that uh, Sigilith didn't attack my Snivy, or my Servine, I mean. Wow, that actually did quite a bit of damage. Boom! Actually, I just realized that uh, 
all three of the Pokemon are weak to the electric. I don't know why I didn't realize that right off the bat. So actually, I could have just attacked the Tortuga right off the bat to take it out of the battle, and that way I wouldn't have had to uh, switch out my route with, but oh well. I'm a heartbreaker. My name? Charles. Yeah, we get the point, dude. Sheesh, that's embarrassing. Getting schooled when I was planning to teach. Still, you have potential. You have under you have to understand your Pokemon to win in a triple battle. I'm a heartbreaker. My name? Charles. Riding a bike and becoming the wind fits a bad boy like me. All right. You were great, Charles, too. He was great to some extent, I guess. Three Pokemon, love, good, good, good. And now they don't care about me anymore. Well, either way, it's off to Driftville City. Sometimes above the bridge, you can see the shadows of a bird Pokemon, right? Their feathers drift to the ground here, and when you try to pick them up, occasionally you'll, you'll run into a Pokemon. Wings falling on the drawbridge. Fun fest mission. Okay. Driftville City is famous for this drawbridge, the PWT, and of course the Heartbreaker, Charles. Gotta love that Heartbreaker. Bam. We got a clever wing. And essentially, each wing that you can find just has to do with EB values, so. The Driftfell Drawbridge, it's also known as the Charizard Bridge, because the raised drawbridge looks like the Pokemon called Charizard. But I've never seen Charizard, so I don't know. Bam! Got ourselves a pretty wing. And we're off. So now we're finally to Driftfell City. Let's talk to this chick. So how about this city's pride and joy, the drawbridge? We also call it the Charizard Bridge due to its elegant form. Let's talk to this dude. Bridges connect different lands. Trading and battling with Pokemon can connect different people. I guess that means Pokemon are a kind of bridge as well. How deep. Welcome to Driftfell City. And there's an Ultra Ball, which is pretty awesome. And let's see what's up here. Come on, let's have fun stealing Pokemon together like we did before. I can't. I've learned the hard way that stealing from others is wrong. Oh, come on. It's too late to start acting all goody-two-shoes now. Thump. People don't understand our just cause. Don't they call you a villain who was plotting world domination? Even though you quit Team Plasma, people are still really cold to you, right? So you might as well just come steal Pokemon with us and take over the world. The people who are mean to you now will be groveling at your feet and saying how great you are. I can't. My Lord N will be sad. I can't do that to him. N? Team Plasma King? Team Plasma's King? What a joke. He's nothing more than a traitor. He disappeared somewhere and abandoned us when we needed him. Hey! Bam! Start talking, you Team Plasma trash. Ow. They're gonna pay for that. Oh yeah, I almost forgot. I'm not supposed to cause any trouble. I'll get you next time. You're not getting away! I'm okay. We were friends when we were both in Team Plasma, but two years ago, Team Plasma split into a group that follows Lord N, who just wants to save Pokemon, and a group that follows Gatesis, who plans to take over the world. You can hear the rest of the story in our home. It's on that little hill next to the Pokemon Gym. All right, well, we will be uh, checking him out. Not too, not too far from now. A long time ago, Team Plasma stole my Pokemon. Well, they did give it back later. Hmm. Well, first things first, I'll heal up. And 
and then we can actually start exploring the city. Hotels now line Driftvale. I guess Driftvale's heartbreaker, Charles, isn't the big attraction now. Oh well. Whoa, dude, if a Pokemon uses the move Surf, it can catch a wave. On the other side of the ocean and all over the world, there are a lot of different Pokemon. And I believe there's an item here. Yep. And we got a Calcium. Set up this uh, hotel we could place. A terrific trainer. Let me share a training tip with you. During a battle with the trainer, even if your Pokemon's items are taken away, don't worry. They will be returned to you safely after the battle, but disposable items seem to disappear. I'm going to watch the Pokemon World Tournament. Huh? The Pokemon World Tournament is in the southernmost part of town. Triffville's gone and changed so much. I thought I'd been hornswoggled. Sweet word, bro. My guilty pleasure is the newest films from Pokestar Studios. Welcome to the Driftville Continental Hotel. There are no open rooms, but feel free to relax in the lobby. Well, screw that. We're going to go break into somebody's room. And steal their stuff. Oh, by any chance was your mother working in a Pokemon Center as a receptionist? You look very similar to her. Garks, Garks. The Pokemon next door, I feel like it's intimidating. When things change, I prefer the way it was, and when things don't change, I get bored. I have a twisted mind. I feel exactly the same way. Actually. Let's set up the 25th floor. Trainer, if my Pokemon was with me, I would have challenged you for a battle. Instead, please accept this. And we get a big root. It is a big root. Have a Pokemon hold this, and it absorbs more HP from the target. This was a perfect item for my Pokemon signature move. And he is talking about moves such as Leech Seed, and Mega Drain, and Giga Drain, and stuff like that. So I think I will give that to my Snivy. Considering I'd rather have it heal more HP in comparison to dealing more damage with, uh, I forget what item it's called. It's the Mystic Water type item. I mean, take it. Miracle Seed. That's what it's called. So, I'll go ahead and find that, if at all possible. There we go. Big Root. Of course, I press B. But, no big deal. Let's head it over to my Servine, who I should probably train up here shortly. If I plan on keep if I plan on still using it. So let's see, should we go north or south? I guess we can just go west. Hey trainer, the move I recommended for you is none other than Uproar. Uproar does damage for three turns after one use. A Pokemon that's in in an uproar, can't use any other moves, and no Pokemon in battle can sleep. Whether that's an advantage or disadvantage is up to you. I'm the master move tutor, and I'm also obsessed with red shards. Give me red shards, and I'll thank you by teaching your Pokemon a move. Want me to teach your Pokemon a move? Sure. Well, that's just fine. Pick the move you want me to teach. And I actually have quite a few red shards. I'm thinking, let's try, uh, sweet, I can totally teach my Ampharos, uh, Fire Punch, which is a move it had in my original Gold and Silver game, and you know what, I'm going to get rid of Thundershock, because why the hell not, yes, and now I can just Play some uh, grass Pokemon with it. Welcome to the Driftvale Chateau Hotel. We're currently all booked up, but feel free to enjoy the ambience. I'm going to enjoy myself some of your patrons' items. Starting on Route or 4 4 
floor 11. Route 11, floor 11, floor 4, 4. Sometimes you can learn about Pokemon moves and items on TV programs. You might be able to learn something if you check out battles between people who are stronger than you. Some Pokemon evolve by trade. Cool, right? Why do they evolve? So they don't die. Now we're up to t floor 25. I'll give this to you. I'll give you the item Air Balloon. A Pokemon who has an Air Balloon can float. Until it gets hurt, it can avoid ground-type moves. Yes, I'm a Balloon Man. Balloon, Balloon, Balloon. Cross Transceiver Minigames. My elegant hobby is minigames on the Cross Transceiver. And hopefully this Balloon Man isn't like the Balloon Man from Tosh.0. Who is like the Carl, Carl Winslow looking dude that like hid inside of balloons and stuff. Very weird stuff. I'm going to stop thinking about that, that now because it's just too creepy. Well, I think there's an item over here, actually. Maybe not. But anyway, let's see what this dude has to say. Construction on a shortcut to Twist Mountain has started, but it's going to take a while because digging's difficult. And it just so happens that it'll keep on going until we beat the Elite Four. But anyway, the X Team Plasma member says, Sir, that's the person I was talking about. Over here, this way. I believe that's rude, yep. Oh, so you're interested in Team Plasma, are you? If you hear what we have to say, you might be able to understand us. My guest, if you're going to come inside, I would like to see what kind of per person you are, trainer. That's right, in a Pokemon battle, do you find this accessible? Sure. Let us begin. And pretty shortly here, we'll actually be able to get one of N's old Pokemon. <coughs> I'll go ahead and switch out to my Growlithe, considering he has a fighting type move for me to use. Wow. Although, actually, Rock Smash shouldn't do that much damage, to be honest. So, even though it is super effective, yeah, it really didn't. And this is probably going to take out my Growlithe. So, that was kind of not good. Let's use Firefoot for the hell of it, because I think it should take it out. Wow, it didn't. <laughs> wow, I totally meant to use Thunder Punch. Oh, well. Hopefully he uses Takedown. Cool, because then it'll just knock itself out. Hooray! Ouch. Oh, sick. My Aphros doesn't give a fuck about the people it loves, or the Pokemon it loves. It'll smack them up, regardless. I apologize for testing you. Being former members of Team Plasma, we must deal with a lot. He got away, and that is your friend? He may join us. Let me introduce myself again. My name is Rude. You guys are Team Plasma 2, right? Tell me, what makes you different from the Team Plasma back there? 
More accurately, we're former members of Team Plasma. Because of the incident two years ago, we started taking care of the Pokemon that were separated from their trainers as a way to atone for our misdeeds. And you are? I'm Paul from Asperger City. Five years ago, Team Plasma, I mean you, stole my little sister's Pokemon. I'm the pathetic trainer who wasn't able to stop you. Separated? What a joke. You were the thieves who stole them. Is that so? My sincerest apologies. Just an apology, that's it? Where's my sister's Pokemon? Perlon, where's Perlon? The Pokemon you speak of is not in this place. I imagine it is still being used by Team Plasma now. Just as you say, our apologizing doesn't solve anything. But you can't move forward unless you admit you were wrong and apologize. Enough already. Apologizing isn't going to get back my sister's Pokemon. Ryan, I'm going to the Pokemon Gym. I'll get stronger and crush every single member of Team Plasma. Team Plasma made trainers like him suffer. I feel terrible about it. How foolish we were. Ryan, as you can see, I can't do anything to thank you. Actually, I have a favor to ask you. Could you please look after this Pokemon Zorua? Yeah, except I don't actually have enough space. So, I'll be back. Bam. And I might as well heal. And then I'll probably deposit... Well, you know what? I have Fly now. And I have a Pit of. But I also have a Sawaddle with Cut. So I'm not sure who I will get rid of. Although, you know what? For the time being, I don't really need to use Fly, I don't think. Actually, yeah, you know what? I don't even have my pit up with me. I have a random pat rat. So, yeah, there we go. Cool, let's go get that uh, Zerua. Oh, dude. Quit yip. What the hell? Did he hear? Did I hear what? Well, I ran into some of your old allies. Oh, those who are still in Team Plasma? They tried to convince me to rejoin Team Plasma. Seriously? Well, quite a few of them are still in Team Plasma. Lord Gatesis? No, just Gatesis. I guess he was actually pretty good. He's awesome. Haha, <laughs> just kidding. What? How dare you say that? How can you say such a thing even after you know what he's done to Lord N? Of course, that was disgusting, but even if you live honestly, I'm telling you, the world is cold. As if you were surrounded by cryogonal. Yeah, you're right. It has flaws, but Team Plasma is Team Plasma. Don't you think we could have gone to a region far away? Organizations like Team Plasma must exist everywhere. We might have gotten favorable treatment because of our experience. Stupid, stupid, stupid. And did I mention stupid? It all adds up to nincompoop. Boom. Ouch, 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 ow. We have to do something for Pokemon. Did you forget that? Honestly, I'm sorry. But Pokemon have a hard time too, don't you think? Once, once they are in Pokeballs, that's it. That might happen still. Do they really like their trainers? Yeah, but Lord N was listening to such feelings and words from Pokemon. Just imagining it can break my heart. Lord N? I wonder where he is. Now let's go find the Pokemon in N's castle. We have to protect them. Oh, snap. I'm here, though. I've been worried about the people who believed in me, but it seems they know what they can do for Pokemon in their own ways. Compared to them, what was I doing? What I really should have done was tell people about the, how Pokemon feel. The legendary Dragon-type Pokemon knew that. It has lived long and known many people. It knew humans and Pokemon have lived and will live together. 
and knew that in this relationship, humans' actions have an enormous impact on Pokemon. That's why it helps the one who searches for the truth, the one who opens the way to the future. It's not necessary. Separating black from white and humans from Pokemon, if you think in terms of each individual life, this world was in a state that couldn't be divided any further. Possibilities are born out of combining and fusing these different lives. There are some things we can understand only by doing this. It will give form to unseen things. These formulae will reconstructure, will restructure the world and make it richer. From their Pokeballs, I can hear the many different feelings Pokemon have about their trainers. More than anything, I can hear their joy that they met people who need them. I'll go for Pokemon, for trainers, and for all lives who saved me. Okay, well, and you know what? Nobody's here now, which is kind of odd. Although maybe it was just an illusion, yeah. That's kind of weird. I, I wonder what actually sets off that event. Anyway, could you please look after this Pokemon Zerua? Sure. Oh, thank you. Da -da 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 -da. This Zerua was one of my Lord N's friends, and it supported him. In the Unova region, there are many other Pokemon that helped my Lord N besides this Zerua. So let's check it out real quick. It's level 25. It has Fury Swipes, Faint Attack, Scary Face, and Taunt. So, I don't know, maybe I will use it, maybe I won't. We'll just have to see, I guess. I'm waiting for my Lord N to return. He can talk to Pokemon. If he comes back, we can find out what the Pokemon here wants. We're taking care of the Pokemon whose trainers we can't find. I know it seems arrogant, but it's a small way to make up for what we've been doing. You can't change the past, but you can change the future. That's why I changed my outfit. I can still fit into the old one, though. Really? I don't think so, Fatso. Team Plasma is an organization created by a man named Gatesis to help him take over the Unova region. The one he groomed to help him further his nefarious aims was N. N was a strange boy who has, who was called the child of the Pokemon. N was an orphan. I heard that right after he was born. He upset people with behavior that suggested he could talk to Pokemon. When he was living in the woods with Darmanitan and Zorua, Gatesis took him in. We are also orphan orphans Gatesis took in. Our task was to take care of N. This Pokemon has become attached to me. That's why I'm treating it like a friend and not like a tool. Well, it's nice to see that some Team Plasma members actually have brains. There are former members of Team Plasma in there. I'm worried that they might be up to no good again. Well, so far so good, I guess. Uh, before we check out what's at the gym, let's check out some more stuff in Drickvale City. Battling Pokemon stronger than you gives you more experience points. Ha hoo! You have a Pokedex. How many Pokemon have you found? Hoo ha! You found 70 or more. Now we're talking, this is for you. And we got Shell Bell, which is kind of like leftovers, except it's based on if you did damage or not. A Pokemon holding a Shell Bell recovers its HP a little bit if it inflicts damage during a battle. But what's more important is this. Have you shown the Pokedex to a professor? Not yet. Did you know this? It's from an article in Pokemon Pal. Press the L button while selecting a move during battle to display detailed information about that move. Wow, I actually didn't know that. You learn something new every day. Let's go to floor 14. Let's talk to this old lady. He's trading Pokemon right after he came to a foreign place. Children have the gift to make friends. Great, we can trade Pokemon using wireless communications, even when we're apart. I gave the Pokemon a nickname. I also let it hold an item, so please take good care of it.
we can live unchanged because we keep changing. I mean, Pokemon also evolve, but their natures stay the same. We can live unchanged because we keep changing? I don't understand. But anyway. Oh, the Pokemon has something in his mouth. We got ourselves a Habon Berry. Rawr! The Driftfell City that I remembered had sort of a dowdy, you know, shabby look. Hmm, yes, rich boy, yes. Going down to the first flow. And now I think the only thing left, other than the gym, is maybe this dude. I want to level up my dear Pokemon so they never have to feel the sting of defeat. When there's an item in your bag you want to switch, just press select and give it a new niche. Doesn't that jingle take you back? Even though I used to look even though I used to look at the cold storage every day, I've already forgotten what it looked like. How sad. Different kinds of Pokemon can learn different kinds of moves. No way, dude. I am grateful that you came all this way. Are you a trainer? Ooh, you have a Pokedex. It's so marvelous. I wonder if you'd please do me a favor. Yes. To be clear, I would like to see a Pokemon that knows rest. Thank you. Uh, no thanks. Because mainly I don't have a Pokemon that does know rest. Although I could teach it. Because I believe I have the TM for rest. Let's uh, see real quick. There we go. I totally do. Oh, cool. And I can totally teach it to Swaddle. So let's go back downstairs and see what this chick will give us. You went to all the trouble of teaching it to your Pokemon? That's so touching. This is a small token of my appreciation. Please don't hesitate to accept this. And we got a heart scale. I wonder what rest looks like when it is actually used. I am sure you can use it skillfully. And it looks like that's it. Do, 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 do. Getting to know someone creates both joy and sorrow. Puns that were funny when you first met get old when you hear them all the time. As the gym leader of Nimbasa City, Elena, I mean Elisa, has a shockingly packed schedule. That's what you'd expect from an electrifying model. Oh, so these two hate each other? Getting to know someone creates both joy and sorrow. Puns that blah, blah, blah. So, yeah. These must be like Elisa's publicists or agents or something like that. And that dude hates that chick. Three years ago, Team Plasma talked to me, talked me into letting my dear Pokemon go. Ever since I've been staying in hotels as I please. To be honest, I feel lonely. But it's a good thing not to have Pokemon who will be left behind and feel sad after a pass away. Wow, that's really sad. Yeah, I'm gonna die soon. Take my Pokemon. So it doesn't have to go through the pain of me dying. An unexpected guess. This is a gift from such a person. And we got an Everstone. No matter what my guests order, I always serve them in the same manner. That is what I learned from my father, who was a Pokemon trainer. Hey, Stunfisk, Panpour, my dear precious Pokemon, kick back and relax today. All right, that's all there is uh, for this little hotel type deal. Although I didn't talk to the receptionist to see the exact name of the place. Welcome to the Driftvale Luxury Suites. I'm so sorry, but we're full. Please enjoy our lobby. All right, so other than the um, little marketplace here, that's all of Driftvale City. 
The Elite Four of the Pokemon League are extremely tough. I hear you can't battle them unless you have eight gym badges. And there is a hidden entrance off to the side here where you can pick up this item, which is TM63 Embargo. Which, I'll just read the official intro to it. It prevents the target from using its held item. Its trainer is also prevented from using items on it. So I was actually right. You can just not use any items on it, even the held item. So, pretty strategic attack. There must be a convenient town where everything is imported and everything is available. Oh, I'm sorry, I'm all sold out. That Charles guy bought everything I had. I used to be part of Team Plasma. I have various kinds of incense. Welcome, how may I help you? Welcome, this is straight from the farm. Moo Moo Milk, one bottle for 500. Would you like some for your trip? Let's get a dozen. Sweet. Goods carried away from Drift Vale arrive in a town somewhere else. Yeah, the world is connected. Yeah, that's right. Looking at seasonal vegetables is fun, because when the seasons change, the vegetables available change. The medicinal herbs imported from another region work very well. But Pokemon don't seem to like them, because they taste a little bitter. There are medicinal herbs that make Pokemon healthy. Welcome. How may I help you? And yeah, just a bunch of stuff that isn't too important. You, glad you came. You want something good? Then show me a Pokemon level 30 or more. Oh, strong. You, great. Take this. And we got an expert belt. You, glad you came. Get good at expert belts. If a Pokemon has an expert belt, the power of its moves is slightly boosted when they are super effective. And I believe that's everything in this area, other than potentially battling Charles. I wanted to get the attention of a girl I like, so I learned a new style of Pokemon battling. It's named Rotation Battle. Want to learn about it? Sure. In Rotation Battles, you send out three Pokemon at a time and battle. One Pokemon takes the lead position, and the other two stand on each side. The trick is, each turn you can change their positions. And that's a rough explanation of Rotation Battles. I'm Arbreaker. My name? Charles. Hey, if you're a trainer, how about a Rotation Battle? Sure. You've got a good attitude, don't you? I'm a Heartbreaker. My name? Charles. I'm always at full throttle. Let's go. And hopefully he has the same three Pokemon, and hopefully my Aphros is first in line, so I can destroy it. All right, let's go. First thing I'll do... is rotate into my Ampharos, and then I'll Thunder Punch, because it doesn't really matter what he does, I will just destroy his Pokemon. There we go, that's what I'm talking about. Let's see that arc in. You know, you want to switch out into it. Ooh, retaliate. Um, yeah. I'll get rid of... Flame Burst. Damn, so many moves being learned. Uh, Sludge Bomb. It is 90. Uh, you know what? I'll get rid of Gyro Ball.
And there we go, that is our first rotation battle. Sheesh, that's embarrassing. Getting schooled when I was playing to teach. Still you have potential, and he's saying the same exact thing said before, I think. So anyway, I believe that is everything in the Driftvale City area. So now, challenging the gym, huh? Nice. Keep getting stronger, let me tell you, though. Play's tough. Even if all even if all you have to use against ground types is water type Pokemon, you might still be in for a rough fight. So, in the next video, we're going to be taking on Clay right here in the Driftvale City Gym. It's like totally too light. But anyway, so that's what we're going to be doing next time, and hopefully you'll be watching. I'll see you there.